Hello, my name is Taylor and today I'm going to walk you through our malolactic fermentation test kit. Here, we have everything that is provided with the kit. We provide you with enough reagents to run a total of 10 tests. If you want to run all 10 tests at the same time, you will need to purchase additional reaction vials and septic caps, which are available on our website. There are two different modes you can run, and we recommend reading through the manual before beginning your first test. You will need a microwave for this test, so make sure you have access to one. This video will solely be demonstrating how to use our kit. For additional information about malic acid or the theory of operation of this test, you can review the information in the manual. For additional information, we recommend reviewing our blog and our troubleshooting guide. The reagents included in this kit are shipped with cold packs and need to be stored in the freezer upon arrival. The MLF reagents are stable at room temperature for about two weeks, so it is okay if they arrive thawed. When you are ready to begin your testing, simply remove the reagents from the freezer and let them come to room temperature. You can run this assay in two different modes, either quick check mode or quantitative mode. The quick check mode is designed to give you a simple yes or no answer on the completion of malolactic fermentation in your sample. If you believe your wine is at or near completion of MLF, we suggest you run the quantitative mode using the provided 0.4 gram per liter standard and your zero or blank. You also want to make sure that you perform this test at room temperature. In this video, we will walk through both methods simultaneously and we'll do our best to explain the differences between the two along the way. Let's get started. Before you do any testing, you will need to prepare your reaction vials. You can do this when they arrive in the mail as they will already be thawed, or you can do this before you begin your tests. Either way, the biopressure agent needs to be portioned out into each reaction vial before you can begin testing. Using the plastic scoop provided with the kit, measure out two level scoops into each reaction vial and cap the vials with the provided septic caps. Today, I will be running one wine sample, but since I will be demonstrating both the quick check mode and the quantitative mode, I will need an additional vial for each of the standards, both the zero gram per liter standard, which is our blank, and the provided 0.4 gram per liter standard. So I have three vials in total. If you are only running the quick check mode, you only need one vial for your wine sample. We will start off by gathering our wine sample. Place 10 mils of your sample into a beaker. If you are testing multiple wines, make sure you label your beakers. Then place your sample in the microwave and boil it for about 60 seconds at medium power. This time will depend on your actual microwave, but the object is to get the wine sample down to about seven or eight mils using a gentle boil without having any wine splash out of the beaker. Once at room temperature, pour the sample into the provided conical tube and add DI water to restore the volume to 10 mils. Here, we will use our rinse bottle to do this. You can then pour your sample back into the beaker if you want, or simply cap the conical tube and leave it in the conical tube. This is totally up to you. Here, I will pour the sample back into the beaker. Using either your 5 mil or 10 mil sampling pipette, transfer 5 mils of the boiled wine sample into a beaker. If you are testing multiple wines, make sure you rinse the pipette between wine samples and mix it with 5 mils of the 0.0, .0 gram per liter standard. Make sure your vial insertion assembly is disconnected from the instrument before proceeding. Now we are going to transfer 3 mils of our wine sample mixture into one vial with the preloaded biopressure agent. Immediately cap the vial. Do not mix it at this point. And then we're going to zero the vial using our disconnected vial insertion assembly and count to 3. Release the vial and shake for five seconds. Do this with all of your remaining wine samples. If you are performing the quantitative mode, you will follow a similar procedure as you just did with your wine sample. 
you will simply add three mils of each standard to two different vials. Here, we are using the provided 0.0, .0 gram per liter and the 0.4 gram per liter standards. Make sure to cap the vial, zero the pressure, and shake for five seconds. Also, make sure you label your vials. After you have filled all of your vials, give them all another good shake for approximately 10 seconds. Now allow the samples to incubate at room temperature for 45 minutes total, but make sure to give them a shake at the 15 and the 30 minute mark. Screw the vial insertion assembly back onto the instrument. Turn the unit on and navigate to KPA mode using the unit button. Immediately following the 45 minute incubation period, shake the vials one last time for about five seconds. Then immediately take the pressure reading by holding the vial insertion assembly from the top and press down so that the needle inserts into the vial septum. Record the highest value that appears on the screen. This process should take about five seconds. Take the value you recorded and using the table provided in the manual, determine your approximate MLF completion level. If you are performing the quick check mode, you will only test your wine sample. If the value you recorded is above two KPAs, MLF has not started or is not complete. If you are running the quantitative mode, you will also test your two standards in the same manner. Shake the vial, take the pressure reading, and record the highest value. Since we ran our standards, we are going to continue on with the quantitative mode procedure. Our wine sample values will be called A, our 0.0, .0 gram per liter standard will be B, and our 0.4 gram per liter standard will be C. And we can calculate our malic acid concentration as follows. After calculating out our value, we can then reference the table provided in the manual to determine the status of MLF completion in our wine sample. Our sample has 3.37 grams per liter malic acid, so our sample has not started MLF. When you are done, turn off the unit and place the reagents back in the freezer. Rinse all of your plastic wares and leave them to dry. You can rinse out your reaction vials and let them air dry with the lids off. The septum can be used for three tests before they need to be replaced. If you have any issues while running this test, we recommend reviewing the appendices of your manual for additional information. You can find helpful information about malolactic fermentation on our website. There, we have a troubleshooting guide and a couple of blog entries. If you still have unanswered questions or need additional information, you can send us an email or give our tech support a call.